It takes about 20 minutes to fully build the next board. First, it goes to the screen printer. This robot stencils the solder paste that will hold the components onto the board. It's actually very similar to the process used for silk screening t-shirts, except it's about 1,000 times more accurate. Next, the board stops at the paste inspector, a robot designed and built at Next. It's a laser measuring system which does what no one had ever thought of doing before. It checks the height and skew of over 1,700 solder pads, making sure they're perfect to within one ten thousandth of an inch before any parts are put down. It's given Next a defect rate 10 times lower than any other surface-mounted board. Next, the board goes to the first of two pick-and-place robots. This one places the smallest transistors, capacitors, and integrated circuits on the board from locational dimensions programmed at Next. Those silver solder pads you're looking at are about one hundredth of an inch high. This isn't only the fastest, it's also the most consistent and accurate robot of its kind, placing parts at the rate of 150 per minute. Next, the board travels to the second pick-and-place station. It places fine-pitched parts using a vision system that can accurately mount components within closer proximity than the width of a human hair. Next, the board is sent into a computer-controlled oven, which first dissolves any oxides that may be on the components. This leaves only pure tin and copper to ensure that the next board has the best solder joints. Then the board is uniformly heated to 215 degrees centigrade, making a perfect metallurgical joint with the solder. When the next board emerges from the oven, the surface mount process is complete. It's emerged with the highest density of components, combined with the highest production quality controls in the computer industry. Next, the board arrives at the through-hole insertion robot, which places, as its name implies, any through-hole components onto the board. It has two specialized arms. One chooses the part. The other inserts it into the board. Together, they can handle about 70 parts of all different shapes and sizes and perform a number of complex operations. Next, the board arrives at the Wave Solder Station. Simply, it's Niagara Falls with 700 pounds of 255 degree centigrade molten solder. But before the through-hole components are soldered, the board is deoxidized with liquid flux to ensure high quality bonds. Then it's over the falls. Next, the fully constructed board enters an environmentally sound cleaning system that removes all flux and residue. The board emerges ready to power the most advanced, most sophisticated, most efficiently produced computer workstation of all time. Next.